Journal entry number three is processed through the sales module. What happens in this case is that an invoice appears. And whenever we prepare an invoice with the object that says pay later, this will create an accounts receivable. According to our chapter uh, four, uh, economic transaction number three, we prepared a cleaning contract for Bel Air Commerce. So we call it Bel Air Commerce. We describe a little bit in the description what we uh, going what we did. And here I just simply write let's say cleaning services, and the amount that we did in cleaning services is seven thousand dollars. Automatically, the system knows which account to credit. In this case, I'm just going to uh, make it a little bit larger for us. It's going to credit the sales or revenue account. This is just to demonstrate that whenever we increase a revenue or a sale, it's a credit balance. You'll see this in an instant. How do we check this? Simply go to report and display the journal entry. Here we go. Our journal entry says that we debit the accounts receivable, 7,000, and we credit sales, revenue cleaning service, and here we go, for $7,000. An increase of an asset is a debit balance, an increase in revenue is a credit balance. What we need to do is to post the transaction. Just for learning purposes, I like to process one more transaction. Assuming this time around we did some additional work for, um, let me see, the, let me change the session date for you. I can do that. I go to maintenance. And I'm going to assume that the transaction was done sometime on January 31st. Well, again, if we go any, any sales invoice, we always go to sales module. We select our customer, in this case, let's say uh, Mr. Belanger. And we also provided cleaning service, so you write here cleaning. The amount of this particular service, let's put $5,000. Every transaction that creates an accounts receivable and we prepare an invoice will always, always be the following. Debit accounts receivable 5000 and credit sales or revenue cleaning service for $5,000. Just to note, the account 1200-1200 accounts receivable, this is a control account. What it means is that the total of the control account will always equal our subledger, and I will demonstrate that in an instant. Let me post this transaction. We will now go to our financials and look at the trial balance. Trial balance as at January 31st. Notice trial balance is always in balance. And if we look at our sales, we have a total of $12,000 in sales. And here we go. All sales are credit balances. Next, we look at our accounts receivable control account. Notice the account 1,200 accounts receivable, 12,000. This $12,000, if I click on it, we see the general ledger, total amount of 12,000 debit, an increase of an asset as a debit balance. Just simply would like to demonstrate the control account. Control account, if I go to receivables, customer aged, select all my customers. The total of all my customers is $12,000, which agrees to the control account on the, on the balance sheet. And again, the total amount in the control account, accounts receivable, agrees to our customer aged listing $12,000. This will always be the case. Thank you.